So we're with Kylie Cropper, the Greeley Tribune's Female Prep Athlete of the Year. Uh, Kylie, thanks for joining us. Now that you've had about, you've been out of school for about a month or so, and you know you've had some time to kind of decompress through the summer. Have you been looking back on your career that much? Um. Yeah, I definitely go through pictures, and like I have a bunch of pictures on my walls and in my room. So I definitely look through a lot. And it's just kind of fun to look back and see like, oh my gosh, this was freshman year and now here's senior year and how much everything's changed and where everything is now. So when I was talking to like, my friends, family, colleagues about this interview and I would bring up how many sports you played, they would always have one question and that was, how did you do it? So <laughs> <laughs> how did you do it? <laughs> uh, it was tough. It was a lot of of work. Most of the time it was a lot of um, two sports at the same time. So either it was club soccer and volleyball going on, or club soccer and basketball, lots of soccer, or soccer and tennis. So it was a lot going on, but just kind of a lot of scheduling. Very good time management and planning. <laughs> My planner was always filled. So. Yeah. How, um, how did you manage your time? Mom helped a lot. She made she kept me on track for sure. But um, I'd say it was a lot of discipline for myself, but it was fun because I enjoyed doing all of it. So I made sure I had time to do it all, but to keep track of everything else that needed to be done. Did it ever get overwhelming between athletics and school and extracurriculars and all that? For sure. <laughs> um, what was it? Freshman through junior, about halfway through junior year, I did the IV program. But that was kind of getting very crazy because the IV program, it takes a lot for you. Like you yeah. have to be on top of your stuff and pretty much that's what, if you're going to do IV, you're just doing IV. I mean, there's a lot of students that can do IV and then do their extracurricular, but most of them aren't doing IV and two sports on top of it and then all of that. So it wasn't right for me, but once I kind of got out of that, it was a lot smoother and I could still take the classes that I needed to take and do everything I needed to do. And in this last year you uh, you went out for football, which that's, uh, again, that was another thing that a lot of people who I talked to about this thought was pretty remarkable. So uh, why did you decide to go out for football last year? My friend. We were in science class and it was kind of a really laid back science class. We didn't do too much and we got talking and he's like, we were talking about females playing football, and I was like, oh, I'd totally do that. That'd be so much fun. And it always kind of been in my head, but I'd never like, like, oh, I'm going to go out and do it. And then he's like, oh, well, you should come to a practice and do it. And so I was like, okay, well, he was like, I'm serious. Like, come out. And I was like, all right, I'll be there. I'm like, when is it? And he's like, Saturday at 7. I was like, all right. I showed up. He was a little surprised. <laughs> a little surprised that I actually showed up. But I did it and put in the work. <laughs> Yeah. Were you um, were you nervous when you went out for that first that first practice, or when you went out for your first game to take your first like oh, live yeah. extra point field goal? Uh, the first practice, it was like a February practice, so it wasn't anything official. But um, I went and I stayed in my car for a while. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, am I actually gonna go do this? But I did it, and I walked in, and the coach was very nice, and he was just like, okay, like who are you? What do you do? Like. What do you want to do for the team and stuff? And so I told him, and it was definitely scary, but it was fun in the end. And the first field goal, that was freaky. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> but it was fun. But it felt pretty good when you drilled it. Yes, yeah. for sure. Um, are you the first girl at West to ever play football? I don't believe so. No. Did you talk to anyone else who had done it before? Um, I talked to Northridge's, Kyla Beck. Um, a little bit about it, but for the most part, I was just like, whatever, let's do it. It just sounds fun. It. That's cool. Uh, and obviously, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of self motivation to get through, you know, all these sports and and all the academics. And you mentioned how you know leaving IB helped a little bit, but how how did you manage to self motivate like that for four years? Um, probably just passion. Everything that I did, I love to do it. I love to go out. I mean, obviously no one really cares to practice, but <laughs> it's just something you gotta do. But when it gets down to it, you gotta go to games and you gotta be on the bus with your friends and just kinda hang out and like, that's the best part. You just get to have fun and enjoy it and that's just part of the high school experience. Cool. Um, who could you not have done this without? Oh my gosh, parents for sure. But 
coaches definitely helped along the way. Yeah. Is there anyone in particular who, who really stands out to you? Um, shoot. That's hard. Probably have to say Cranston. Yeah. He did a lot of scheduling for me. <laughs> <laughs> Put together a lot of schedules to make sure it all worked out and it all um, just ran smoothly. Cool. What's the best advice you got in your high school career? Hard for sure. Um, just go out and play hard. Yeah. I mean, you hear it from every coach like, all right, you're in. Just go play hard. Just go play your best. So, I don't know. That's a tough one. But it's just something you always get. Play hard. Don't be scared of what's going to happen. Just do your best and give 100% effort and that's all that matters in the end. So now you're continuing your soccer career and your academic career at Virginia Military Institute. Um, so did you visit there before you decided to attend? Yeah, yeah, I went there last summer for a camp that they were hosting and then I went for an official visit in the fall. And why did you decide to pick that one? Mostly soccer. Soccer. <laughs> Mostly soccer, but um, it just seemed like a good fit. It's very disciplined and you have to um, do a lot of work, but in the end it's very rewarding. So I'm excited to see what it has. Cool. Yeah, when we were talking a while back, you mentioned you can go through uh, the boot camp for any of the four branches, and I think you said you're doing the Marines? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, why'd you pick the Marines? Uh, it was definitely between Marines and Army. And in the end, I kind of just tossed it up and said, all right, let's just, let's try the Marines. Uh, both my great aunt and great uncle were Marines. And so they are always talking about stuff. And I always just thought it'd be kind of fun. Well, my last question, uh, is there any sport you can't play? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a hard one. I don't know. I mean, I never got a chance to try track. I tried swimming one summer. But it was too early for me, so I didn't do it. <laughs> like it's summer, I want to sleep in. <laughs> but I don't know. I think anyone can do anything as long as you put your mind to it and put in the work. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Kylie. You're welcome.